Hey everyone, this is Joseph over at Synergy 17 and today I want to show you um, a little utility that uh, you can find online and it's um, it, it's, it's pretty useful. Uh, you can do this stuff in Corel Photo Paint and you can do it in um, some Catlink software in Photoshop but for people who aren't really good at those uh, versions of the software um, this one is just a quick little utility and could uh, help you out quite a bit. So it's called photo scissors and something that's really common is that people will take a photograph of something they want to sell whether it's on their online store, eBay, Craigslist and uh, one thing they don't like to do is trace out the background. So some people take a photo in a little photo tent, some people will put it on a white piece of paper or they'll, they'll do something to try to hide the background and um, before you actually list it you kind of want to clean all that up. So Photo Scissors is uh, an application that basically knocks the background out for you. And um, it's, it's pretty simple um, and I'll kind of show you how it works. So I'm going to just do a couple of different ones. Um, you would basically take your JPEG. So I'm going to take uh, just something simple like this logo here. So what we're going to do here is you see this is a green one and a red one. The green is means you want to keep this. Red means that's the background that you're going to throw away. So it says foreground, which means what I want to keep. And see how it's green? And everything that touches the green will not get thrown away. So you kind of want to make your uh, marker a little bit smaller, which is right here. So make it small enough. Then kind of go over here and say, this is what you want to keep. You know, you can just touch whatever you want. To, whatever, you don't have to touch all of them, but you can kind of just kind of tell it. Uh, what items you want to keep so that way the software kind of knows where to look and then you take the red one here and you touch all the parts like you don't want to keep this is the part you want to get rid of so here's what I don't want all this white here okay and then there's a cutout and what it's going to do is when it's going to uh, look for this it's going to look for the differences and try to knock all this white and put the graphic that we want over here and um, you can save it as a PNG. A PNG will have a tra you could have a transparent background, or you could put a color on it or a background. So if I just, if I wanted to have that with a certain color, green or something, you can see. And also you can use see how well it came out. Like if I had a lot of marks on it, so you'll see a little white, a little yellow line, sorry, right here, and that kind of shows you where it's cutting. You have a tolerance and boundaries too. So for example, if I wanted to offset that a little bit, you can see how this yellow line moves out as I do that. And you can see that also it appears right here. It's kind of like your tolerance about how tight to get it uh, to your, your item. And this kind of smooths things out here. So if I turn that on, you see it starts rounding the edges here and here. So that's what that does. So that's uh, one item. Let's try another item. Let's do this Ghostbusters one right here. I don't want to save that. So same exact concept. You're going to sit here and you're going to mark things you want. Want this to and this part. You don't have to do all of it. You're just trying to, you know, you're just trying to sh tell the software what things you want to keep. But I do want to show you something here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to mark it a little bit out here further. Like let's say I accidentally went out too far on it. Well, the software is going to think you want to keep that. So as I do this, you'll see what's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And you'll see that it kind of didn't know. It, 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 it thought that I wanted to keep the black here. And because it thinks I want to keep the black here, it also thought I want to keep some of the black here, here, and here. So you do have to be careful with that. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to use this red and I'm going to try to clean it up as best as possible. Get rid of that there. And that, let's see how that makes a difference. See that it did a lot. I mean, when it saw that I didn't want this, it realized I didn't want a lot of that black there. And um, you can go in here and like clean this up here even more. So I can make my marker size really, really small. I can go in here and tell it I don't want that. And if there's any other spots like over here, use your little marker and mark that. Do the cut again. And you can see that it cleaned up a little bit more. So we can see how good or bad it did by adding a color in the back. Just check it out. So you can see there's a little bit there. 
and um, like I said you can get a little bit closer on the tolerance oops that's the wrong one this one here add more to it, it depends, oops the wrong way it just depends on what you want to do how close you want to get to that and you can go in there and trace this more you can put more red or sorry red along that part and uh, along the part you want to get rid of here here as close as you want um, let's do an let's, so those are for general graphics you can actually add a background if you want a background and then when you if you like your graphic you can save it off as a PNG, save it as a JPEG, a BMP, or a TIFF. If you want the clear background, save it as a PNG. So let's do it like an item, for example, you're going to sell. Um, let's do like this one here. Same thing. You're going to touch all the parts you want to keep. And in this example, uh, not only do I want to get rid of this background here, I also don't want the coat hanger let me undo that real fast because I touched a little bit of that so I don't want the coat hanger so let's see how well it does and I'll put a background just so you can see how that I got everything so got rid of the coat hanger and everything so uh, I think this application is like 20 bucks, and right now it's on sale for like $10. If I, if I can find the link, I'll post it. But um, otherwise, it's for people who don't really, you know, don't have Photoshop or don't know how to really trace out backgrounds really well, it's, it's a pretty cool utility.